Stefan from History Hustle and today I'm standing in Vientiane which is the capital of Laos and behind me there is something that kind of looks like familiar with you like the Arc de Triomphe you see in Paris but it's not that no it's inspired by the Arc de Triomphe yes and with that being said you can say that this is one of the traces of the French culture here in Laos and you might ask yourself well what did the French do here well they colonized Laos back in the day from 1893 till 1953 and the funny thing is that actually the French didn't came here to get something because there wasn't much to get um, by the time the French got here, halfway the 19th century, a lot of areas in Laos were not populated anymore because the Thai deported them to Thailand. Also, Vientiane was destroyed um, in 1827 by the Thai. So when the French got here, they found a city in despair. Everything destroyed and just a few people living here but they rebuilt the capital with all its temples and also added some French architecture to it so you see a lot of old colonial buildings so the French got here why did they want Laos well basically uh, Laos had to uh, was a buffer state between the French position of Vietnam and Thailand back in the day called Siam and the British colonies. So that's basically all it was. Not a lot of French people were living here. By the time of 1940, only 600 French were living in Laos. Most of them in the cities of Vientiane, where we're now, and in Luang Prabang. The French had uh, a system called corvée. They introduced, which forced Lao men to work 10 days every year for the French. But also they uh, built a road, Route 13, between Wang Prabang and Vientiane, and they started education projects. But it was only till the 20s of the 20th century the, they reached the outskirts of Laos. What happened here during World War II? In 1940, Germany conquers France, and after that there's a collaborating French government called Vichy France, and that takes control over French Indochina. And Indochina is like the, the, the current Lao, Cambodia and Vietnam. However, in September 1940, the Japanese come. There are some skirmishes between French colonial troops and the Japanese, but an armistice is followed pretty quickly. And it has been decided that the French keep control over their colony. However, the Japanese have freedom of moving their troops through the area. 1945, France is liberated by the Allies and Japan is on the losing side of the war. And they decide to conquer Laos. But only a few months later, August 45, the atom bombs fall on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the French Empire surrenders. And with that, World War II in Laos had came to an end. Colonization has not. After World War II, Lao nationalists want independence. In 1949, the French decide that Lao can be independent within the French Union. A few years later, in 1953, Lao finally got its independence. But with that, a new war starts the Lao Civil War.